Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing this look. Yeah, um, this eye. <laughs> um, using I'm using the Morphe 24G palette. Um, I really like this palette. It's like super amazing, and the eyeshadows are huge. It's like I wonder if I'm ever gonna run out of them. Probably not. Well, actually. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with, I already primed with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and then I set that with my Laura Mercier. Um, now I'm just going to take, I'm going to take the first brush. This is a, it doesn't have a number, it's a fluffy brush, I believe it's the, M513. That's that one. And I'm gonna take the shade creamer, which is this shade right here, and I'm going to use that as my transition shade, sort of. It's a very light color. Um, but I'm just gonna work that into my crease. I'm gonna do windshield wiper motion. I'm gonna take some more of that shade and I'm gonna bring it to my outer corner. I'm gonna just do circular motions all the way in to my inner corner. I'm gonna flick it up towards the brow bow. You wanna kind of bring it up pretty high because there's going to be more shades coming so you still want this to peek through you don't want it to get lost that's good now I'm going to take the shade Frenchie which is this brownie mustardy shade right there and I'm going to take that on my crease as well and start from the outer part and I'll work my way in and I'm just going to keep this a little bit lower than that first shade just to create that definition and then I'm going to do the same thing, bring it onto my outer corner. And I'm going to try to tap the excess. This is a lot of color, but I'm going to try to diffuse it. Right. And then I'm going to take the shade um, Brassy. Brassy, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to take that shade with this E17 brush. Tap the axis. And I'm going to take that start in the outer corner. And I'll work my way into the inner corner. And I'm going to place that right under that second shade. Dances. Just keep working on it to my crease, but right under the other shade. I'm going to take the brush that I used for Frenchie and take a little bit of that. And then just diffuse the edges. And then I'm going to take the first shade, creamy, tap the accent, and I'm going to take that right on top. And I just do this to bring the colors back. Because um, when, when you're doing an eyeshadow like something, you can lose some of the colors. And I want that nice gradient. And let's see. Now I'm taking the shade. Glitz, which is super pink shade right here. 
I'm taking this Y18 brush from Morphe. And I'm just gonna carefully place that on my lip. And then I'm taking a flat brush, and this is a BH Cosmetics number no. 5. It's a big flat brush, and I'm gonna take that shade. And I'm gonna like cut the crease sort of. I'm gonna simulate like I'm cutting my crease. But I'm just gonna put the color all over my lid. And I'm gonna take the shade Brassy and I'm going to put it on this other corner. It's because I don't want the pink to go all the way there. Just on both sides. I'm taking that brassy shade. I'm going to put it right over. And I'm taking more French and I'm doing the same thing. Just to bring up those colors. And then I'm going to take the lace, which is a super light golden color right there. And I'm going to add it to my inner corner like that. And place that on the inner corner. Alright, now that we're done with the eyes, I'm going to move on to my face. I'm just going to apply my primer. And this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Primer. It's an amazing primer for oily skin. So, if you have oily skin, I really recommend that primer. It's like saved my life. And I'm putting that on my T zone, a little bit on the forehead. My chin. I'm just tucking up, rubbing very gently. Put that on there. And then also the other thing I'm gonna use is my spray. And I'm just gonna let that sit for about five minutes. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna do my eyelashes. I'm gonna put my eyelashes and I'm gonna be using little lashes. In Miami. They're not in the box. I'm gonna go get them. Um, and I'm gonna do that off camera just because it takes me a long time to put lashes. It's like horrible. Uh, and I don't wanna bore you guys. So I'm gonna go put my lashes and I'll be back. Back! Alright, now we're gonna do our foundation. And I'm gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. This is an amazing foundation. It stays matte all day. So if you're oily like me, you need to get this. You need this in your life. It's going to change your life. I've only used it like three times. Um, and I used it one time for work and I had absolutely no problems throughout the day whatsoever. And it's only $9. Your girl's trying to save you some money. So go get this foundation and I'm just going to dot that on my face. Okay. Put 
this and I'm using a Royal Texanine sponge. I'm not sure the name of it exactly, but I will link it down below. And this foundation has really good coverage. So if you need a matte foundation with bomb coverage. I'm gonna get this. And then I'm also gonna bring this on my neck. I can't forget to bring this on my neck. Just so you don't look like you have a mask and it doesn't match your skin tone. Now I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand. I'm gonna go ahead and place this under my eyes. On my mouth my forehead, my mustache, and my chin. This is where I have the most darkness. And then I need this for coverage. And then I'm going to place them right under one of the contour as well. And then I'll have my number one because that number wants to get Yeah, I know this is a lot of concealer. Um, but I would only recommend you doing this if you're gonna go out and you wanna look snatched. On an everyday basis, I don't use as much concealer. But for the sake of this video, and I also bring the product down to my cheeks, and that's like additional coverage. So I'm gonna work with it next up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is very important. If you're oily, you want to set your whole face, not just your under eye. And this is just going to help your makeup last like a whole day. It's that extra step us with oily skin have to take. And it also helps for your makeup to not melt in this Arizona heat. Because we're battling 110 degrees outside and this makeup needs to stay on. And then we're going to contour. I'm going to take my Y1 and I'm going to take this cap foundation on my palette and I'm taking this beat up shade on my palette. I really need to get a new one but to, you know, I'm waiting for it to completely wear out. Um, taking subconscious, I think that's what it's called, and that's gonna be for contour. And then doing the fish face is gonna help contour. Um, I don't really have to do it, I just like doing it because you can see the shadow on here and that's where you want to contour, you want to contour the shadow of your cheek and on my face it's actually very noticeable when I look at it and then I'm also going to contour my forehead, not that I really need to, I don't have a big forehead this is mostly for people that have a bigger forehead and they want to simulate like they don't um, I just like contouring my forehead because it brings color back to my face and I don't like looking all freaking pale. And then I'm also gonna contour my double chin because I got that double chin. And I wanna make it look like I only have one. And then I'm gonna take this brush right here, which doesn't have a name. Sorry guys. But it's by Morphe. It's a synthetic brush as well. And I'm gonna contour my nose. Mm. I want to make my, no my nose look smaller than this, and that's not actually impossible, but let's try. We can always try. And I'm going to take my R7 Morphe brush, and I use this to bronze. And I'm going to use the second shade on there, the Shadow Play. And I'm going to bronze up my face. And again, I just do this because I don't bring color into my face. That way it looks so 
pail. And we're just gonna go ham on this guy. So. You can judge me. Alright guys, I don't know why my camera keeps doing this, but I just like stopped recording when I was bronzing and I did everything else and I was done and I was like, yeah, I'm done and it wasn't recording. So I'm just going to tell you what I used after I bronze. I cut my um, cheeks with the Laura, Laura Mercier powder and then I applied some highlight. And I used the gumdrop from the Anastasia Glow Kit, this pinky shade right here. And then I just went ahead and I sprayed the Mario Badisco after I was done. Um, I set my eyebrows with the Anastasia. And then for my lip combo, I did NYX Lip Pencil in Suede. And then I use Lip Land lipstick, liquid lipstick in Tribeca. Um, so yeah, that's the last things that I used. So this is the final look. Very colorful look. Very pinky. I love pink. I live for pink. I don't wear pink on a daily basis because you know people would probably look at me like. Um, but if you want to rock this for summer cool um and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't please guys i hope you guys enjoyed my videos and comment down below anything that you want to see from me anything funny um just anything honestly i would love to see some comments and without further ado, I'll see you guys on my next video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. I love you.